despite the fact that the physical body was created originally by HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Bechachma, with wisdom, there are situations when things do go wrong. A situation addressed with the second part of the Ashe Yatzah Bracha. Galui v'yadua l'fni kisei k'vodecha. Galui, with the Shoresh of Gimel Lamad Hay, which translates as to either reveal or uncover, or exile, in terms of Galut. Gimel Lamad Hay, to reveal, will be applied to the word Galui. Yadua has the Shoresh of Yud Dalad Ayin, one of the most common Shorashim to be found in the text, and we shall be using the first of the five translations for this Shoresh to know both words, Galui and Vyadua, are framed in the passive format. Without moving into Kabbalistic interpretation, the Kisei Kvodech, a euphemism for HaKadosh Baruch Hu, but translates as the throne of your glory. Kisei literally translates as the chair. That the information that follows is revealed and known to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Teasing out this segment, in both standards we have the phrase Echad Mihem, one of them, referring to the Nikavim or the Chalulim of one's body. She'im, that if, or im, or if. In the first stanza, Yisatem, passive, with a shorish of Samach Taf mem to block or to close off that were one of them to be blocked or im yifatea passive again to open or as the koran sidor has it to be ruptured in other words if any of the nikavim or chalalim for example a blood vessel an artery were to be ruptured such as an aneurysm or block that nowadays it would cause a stroke Efshar, possible. E. Efshar, not possible. So that if certain organs were ruptured and blocked, it would not be possible. Lehit Kayem. Kuf Yud Mem is the Shoresh. Multiple translations in this context to endure, to last, to survive. Afilu Sha Echat is the Nusach in the Chabad tradition. Sha Echat, literally one hour in the context of the Bracha for even one moment suggesting a short period of time. Putting the entire middle segment into translation format, Galuvia Dua Lefne Kisek Votechad is revealed and known before your throne of glory. Shimi Satem Echad Mehem O Yipateach Echad Mehem that were one of them referring to the Nikavim and the Chalulim to be ruptured or blocked, then Ef Shalihit Kayem. It would not be possible to survive a Filosha Echad in some cases, even for one moment. Emphasis, of course, on the type of injury to the Chalalim or the Nekavim. It would not be out of place to suggest that when the Ashe Yatsa Bracha was first formulated relative to today's medical advances, medicine at the time would have been quite primitive, and in most cases, death rates would have been quite high. The only reason why we survive today is on account of the advances in the field of medicine, along with the accessibility of advanced medical care. And for that, we should be thankful. Which leads us into the third component of the Asher Yatsa Bracha. Baruch Hashem, Rofecho Basar, Umaflid La'asot.